Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Brichettes. Grilled skewers of meat, often goat or beef, seasoned and served with spices and sauces. Brichettes are a popular and delicious street food found in Niger, as well as in many other countries across West Africa. Brichettes consist of skewered and grilled pieces of meat, often marinated with flavorful spices and seasonings. They are loved for their smoky, charred flavor and are commonly enjoyed as a snack or a quick meal. Ingredients and Preparation Meat Various types of meat can be used for brochettes, including beef, goat, chicken, and sometimes even fish or offal. The meat is typically cut into bite-sized pieces for skewering. Marinade The meat is often marinated with a mixture of spices, herbs, and seasonings that vary based on regional preferences. Common ingredients in the marinade can include garlic, ginger, onion, paprika, cayenne pepper, and more. Skewers Wooden or metal skewers are used to thread the marinated meat pieces, allowing for even grilling. Grilling. Preheat grill. A grill or barbecue is preheated to medium-high heat. Skewering. The marinated meat pieces are threaded onto the skewers, leaving a little space between each piece for even cooking. Grilling. The skewers are placed on the grill and cooked for several minutes on each side, turning occasionally, until the meat is cooked through and has a nice char. Serving and enjoyment. Brochettes are often enjoyed with a variety of accompaniments. Sauces. They are commonly served with dipping sauces like peanut sauce, hot pepper sauce, or tomato-based sauces that enhance the flavor. Bread. Brochettes can be wrapped in bread or served with bread, creating a portable and filling snack. Side dishes. Depending on the region, they might be served with side dishes like rice, couscous, or grilled vegetables. Brochettes are not just a flavorful food. They also hold cultural significance and are often enjoyed as part of social gatherings, celebrations, and outdoor events. Whether you're walking through a busy market or attending a local festival, you're likely to encounter the tempting aroma of grilled brochettes, inviting you to savor their smoky and savory goodness. Fried plantains. Slices of ripe plantains are deep fried until golden and crispy. Fried plantains are a popular and delectable street food enjoyed in Niger and many other countries, particularly across West Africa. Plantains are a type of starchy banana that is firmer and less sweet than the common dessert banana. Fried plantains are a versatile treat that can be enjoyed as a snack, side dish, or even dessert. Preparation. Choosing plantains. Select ripe plantains for frying. Ripe plantains should have a yellow skin with some black spots. They should be firm but yield slightly to pressure. Peeling. Peel the plantains by cutting off the ends and making a shallow incision along the length of the skin. Gently remove the skin using your fingers. Slicing. Slice the plantains into thin or thick rounds, depending on your preference. Frying. Heat oil in a deep skillet or frying pan over medium heat. The oil should be hot but not smoking. Frying process. Single fry method. In this method, the plantain slices are fried once until they are golden brown and slightly crispy. They will have a soft interior and a caramelized sweetness. Double fry method. This method involves frying the plantain slices twice. First, they are fried briefly until they just start to turn golden. Then, they are removed from the oil, drained, and allowed to cool. After a short rest, the slices are fried again until they are golden and crispy. This method yields a crispier texture. Draining. Place the fried plantain slices on paper towels to drain excess oil. Serving and enjoyment. Fried plantains can be enjoyed in various ways. Snack. They can be enjoyed as a tasty snack on their own. Side dish. They are often served as a side dish alongside main courses, such as grilled meats or stews. Dessert. When fried until very ripe and caramelized, they can be served as a dessert with a drizzle of honey or a sprinkle of cinnamon. Toppings. Some variations include adding salt, spicy chili powder, or a squeeze of lime juice to enhance the flavor. Fried plantains strike a delightful balance between sweet and savory, with a crispy exterior and tender interior. They showcase the versatility of plantains and are a beloved and satisfying street food that reflects the rich culinary heritage of West Africa, including Niger. Fulani Tea A sweet, spiced tea made from hibiscus leaves, often served in communal gatherings. Fulani tea, also known as, ataya, or, ataya, is a traditional tea preparation that holds cultural significance in many West African countries, including Niger. It's more than just a beverage, 
it's a social ritual that brings people together for conversation, camaraderie, and sharing moments. Preparation. Fulani tea is typically made using strong green tea leaves, fresh mint, sugar, and sometimes other spices or flavorings. The tea preparation involves a specific technique of brewing and pouring that contributes to the overall experience. Steps. Teapot. The tea is prepared in a special teapot known as a teapot of three, or taillere et trois. It has three levels that help in the tea making process. Tea leaves. A generous amount of green tea leaves is placed in the top compartment of the teapot. First boiling. Water is brought to a boil in a kettle or pot, and the first boiling water is added to the tea leaves in the top compartment. This initial steeping is discarded. It's believed to cleanse the tea leaves and remove any bitterness. Second boiling. The same tea leaves are steeped again with fresh boiling water. This time, the tea becomes strong and flavorful. Mint and sugar. Fresh mint leaves and sugar are added to the brewed tea, enhancing the flavor and sweetness. Pouring technique. The tea is poured from a height to create froth and mix the flavors. This process is repeated multiple times to achieve the desired frothiness and temperature. Sharing. Once the tea is well mixed and frothy, it's poured into small glasses and shared among friends and family. Each glass is filled about halfway to allow for multiple rounds of pouring and sharing. Cultural significance. Fulani tea is more than just a beverage, it's a communal and cultural practice that brings people together. The act of preparing and sharing tea is a form of hospitality, friendship, and bonding. It's often enjoyed in a relaxed and unhurried setting, where people gather to chat, discuss, and connect. In many West African communities, Fulani tea is a central part of daily life and social interactions. It's a gesture of warmth, hospitality, and a way of strengthening social ties. Whether in Niger or other countries in the region, participating in the Fulani tea ritual provides a window into the cultural fabric of the community. Roasted peanuts. Roasted and salted peanuts are a popular snack. Roasted peanuts are a simple yet delicious and satisfying street food that's enjoyed in Niger and many other parts of the world. Peanuts, also known as groundnuts, are a popular snack due to their nutty flavor, crunchy texture, and nutritional value. Preparation. Roasting peanuts is a straightforward process. Selecting peanuts. Choose raw peanuts that are fresh and free from mold or damage. Shelling. If the peanuts are still in their shells, they need to be shelled before roasting. Drying. Peanuts are often dried in the sun or a low-temperature oven to remove excess moisture. This step ensures that they roast evenly and become crispy. Roasting. The dried peanuts are roasted in an oven, on a stovetop, or in a specialized roasting machine. Roasting can be done with or without added oil, depending on personal preference. The peanuts are spread out in a single layer and roasted until they turn golden brown and emit a rich aroma. Flavor variations. Roasted peanuts can be customized with various flavorings. Salted. Adding salt while roasting enhances the nut's natural flavors. Spiced. Peanuts can be roasted with spices like chili powder, paprika, cumin, or other seasonings for an extra kick. Serving and enjoyment. Roasted peanuts are enjoyed in various ways. Street food. Roasted peanuts are often sold by street vendors in paper cones or bags. Snack. They make for a convenient and satisfying snack, whether at home, work, or on the go. Garnish. Crushed roasted peanuts are used as toppings for salads, desserts, and various dishes. Nutritional value. Roasted peanuts are a good source of protein, healthy fats, fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. They are nutrient-dense and can provide a quick energy boost. In Niger, as well as in other countries, roasted peanuts are a beloved snack that's enjoyed by people of all ages. Their simplicity, crunchiness, and versatility make them a popular choice for a quick and tasty treat. Suya. Grilled skewers of spiced meat, a favorite snack often sold by street vendors. Suya is a flavorful and popular street food found in Nigeria and other West African countries, including Niger. Suya consists of skewered and grilled meat that has been marinated with a spicy peanut-based seasoning blend. It's known for its rich aroma, fiery flavor, and satisfying combination of textures. Preparation. Suya is prepared in several steps. Meat. Various types of meat can be used for suya, such as beef, chicken, goat, or even offal like liver. The meat is cut into thin slices or small chunks that are suitable for skewering. Marinade. The meat is marinated with a spice blend known as suya spice, or yaji. 
The spice mixture typically includes ground peanuts, ground nuts, chili peppers, ginger, garlic, paprika, and other spices. Skewering. The marinated meat is threaded onto skewers, often made from metal or wooden sticks. Grilling. The skewered meat is grilled over an open flame or on a barbecue grill. The meat is cooked until it's charred and has a smoky flavor. Serving and enjoyment. Suya is often served with additional spices, herbs, and condiments to enhance the flavor. Suya spice. More suya spice may be sprinkled over the cooked meat for extra flavor. Onions. Sliced onions are commonly added for a refreshing contrast. Tomato and pepper sauce. A spicy tomato and pepper sauce is sometimes drizzled over the suya for added heat and flavor. Nutritional value. Suya is a protein-rich dish due to the meat content, and the peanut-based spice blend provides an additional source of healthy fats and essential nutrients. Cultural significance. Suya holds cultural and social significance in West African communities. It's not just a food, it's an experience. People gather around suya vendors to enjoy the delicious skewers, share conversations, and soak in the lively street food atmosphere. Suya is often associated with celebrations, gatherings, and communal enjoyment. In Niger and beyond, suya showcases the diverse and vibrant culinary traditions of the region, highlighting the bold flavors and unique spice blends that make West African cuisine so distinctive.